Hello, I am Kabi. I am going to present our joint paper, Formal Sanskrit Syntax, a Specification for Programming Language. Introduction In the paper, we discuss syntax of six primary statements of Sanskrit, which is a natural Sanskrit based formal language being specified for our programming language under my doctoral thesis. At the, the statements are declaration, assignment, inline initialization, if then else, for loop and while loop. By a statement, we mean a syntactic unit regardless of its computational operations or variable declarations, program execution, or evaluation of Boolean expressions, access to Sanskrit computational linguistics is taught as a postgraduate course or subject at many Sanskrit departments in Indian universities and IITs. Apart from this, there is an active international Sanskrit computational linguistic community and there are 18 Sanskrit universities including three central universities, means national universities and hundreds of Sanskrit departments at state and central universities can introduce and teach Sanskrit computational linguistics. The postgraduate Sanskrit students generally have different non-science backgrounds like traditional Gurukul education system or arts or humanities trends. When the students come to master level and opt for Sanskrit computational linguistics, they suddenly learn primary programming languages which use a number of punctuation marks, mathematical notations and English-based keywords, etc. Due to non-multidisciplinary and a non-interdisciplinary mode of education system except an introduction to multidisciplinary education system in the Indian National Education Policy 2020, the students are not familiar with symbolic logic which are commonly used in mathematics, computer programming languages and general science. However, by pre-master level, Sanskrit students are well introduced to formal linguistic model of logic of traditional Paranian grammar, etc., there is a need to provide an additional tool, especially for the Sanskrit students, to program and write software in a programming syntax of indigenous style that the students are already good in since very early classes. They must better adapt a high level programming language based on such traditional components Sanskrit of Sutra or Navyanaya artificial language, etc. Uh, Sanskritam statement is a uh, simple copular sentence that constitutes the end piece of subject and the complements and an optionally omitted copula and at the end finally terminates by a semicolon. The tokens in lower case not closed by single inverted commas represent non-terminals. The left hand side of the column represents a rule name which can have one or more alternate rules separated by a bar and terminated by a column. So declarative statement so a declarative statement, a Sanskrit declarative statement is optionally a general copular sentence that constitute that consists of a subject NP, which represents the identifier or the name of the variable, and the secondly the name of the data types is the subject complement. For example, in the example number one, chatraha varnaha. So uh, we can see uh, uh, the Java example and in example also, I can see it. And the chatraha is the variable, and the varna is the uh, varna uh, is the data type, uh, which means a string, and uh, representing as a uh, complement uh, to the chatra, which uh, represents the subject. And uh, the copula agrees with the subject NP. The subject NP may include one or more singular number nouns separated by a comma to support declaration of more than one variable of the spe specified type in a single statement, as in example number two and three. The conjunction cha meaning and can also optionally join two or more variables. The positions of the NP, that is complement, uh, subject complement, uh, may be interchanged. The border of the two NPs can be interchanged. So assignment statement. The assignment statement constitutes two juxtapositional uh, posi uh, interchangeable to NPs, a subject NP and an NP of locational complement. A locational complement is implicated in genitive case. For example, in the chatrasya uh, some string D. The chatrasya is uh, in the locational complement, which is in Genitive case and the chatra is the uh, is the variable. 
and uh, sia represents the genitive case ending the imperative paradigms for example siat siatam siu of the kofola as which means to be are often omitted as in the declarative sentence kofolas are omitted and the copula occurs at the end of the at the end of the body of the end piece. The noun in uh, locus non complement represents the assignee, a declared variable. Inline initialization statement. The inline initialization statement is an expression of what of the declarative and assignment statements within a single sentence. It contains two clauses separated by a comma, including one main clause followed by a relative clause in order. The relative clause represents an assignment statement introduced by a possessive form of the relative pronoun that to meet the genitive matrix. If then else statement, if then else if then else statement is a complex sentence, it consists of two clauses, the block of if conditional clause, and secondly the block of man clause. The if clause precedes precedes the man clause. The if clause begins with the conditional marking word yadi if meaning if. The if clause contains one or more affirmative or negative or both of the copular sentences to express a Boolean condition. Two or more condi conditional sentences are separated by a comma and optionally closed by the conjunction cha and uh, just before the introductions of the following man clause. The if clause is immediately followed by a consequence, the man clause representing consequences. The third he then, which is the corresponding consequent marker of the yadi of the if clause, begins the man for loop statement the for loop statement adopts the basic syntax of header rule or the adhikar rule from astadhyayi a header rule in astadhyayi is a rule that initiates a scope marking is boundary generally morphologically a header rule constitutes the name of the scope declining in locative case while loop statement the while loop statement the while loop statement also consists of two clauses one subordinate and a one man clause respectively representing the two blocks of common while loop statement in java like in java the subordinate clause represents one or more conditional expressions and the man clause can consist of one more statement separated by commas representing the code block to be evaluated so we have tried to describe discuss the syntax of each selected Sanskrit statement separately by giving the Poman rules of each statement we are working on and we'll later discuss the complete parser of the Sanskrit specification and its implementation in Java. Thank you, suggestions and questions are invited.